Blessed are you, O God, full of faithfulness and steadfast love. How awesome are your deeds. How glorious is your name in all the earth. We've come together led by your Holy Spirit to sing our praise, to confess our failings, and to receive your forgiveness and love, made possible through the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. To you be all glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We have to confess, O Lord, that we are people who want to have everything proven for us. We hear the message in the scripture of Jesus' ascension, and we smile smugly, not truly believing the vision. Forgive us for our arrogant doubts and attitudes of smugness. Help us remember that everything Jesus taught us was to help prepare us to help build God's realm here on earth. We are called to be people of faith, not of absolute proof, as we understand it. Let us place our trust in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Let us look with eyes of faith as he ascends to the Father. We pray in his name. Amen. Our first reading is from Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions to the Holy Spirit to his apostles, he is chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them after a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. One, on one occasion while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gave, they gathered around him and asked, Lord, and asked, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said, he said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates of the father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and, cl and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intent intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Gal Galilee, they said, why, why do you look standing here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you will into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy, for the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us people, under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has descended amid shouts of joy the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over all the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God, God Abraham of the kings of earth. God belongs he is greatly exalted. Our third scripture is from 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 through 14, and chapter 5, verses 6 through 11. Dear friends, do not be surprised as at the fiery ordeal that has come onto you to test you, as though something were strange were happening to you. But rejoice in as much as you participate in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed, for the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hands, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all of your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of the sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing 
you to his eternal glory in Christ. After you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power and forever and ever. Amen. As we have heard God's word proclaimed, would you please join me as we affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.